Ladies and gentlemen, Frank Maloney promotion sponsored by Red Square Vodka, Southwark Metals, York Fitness, CYC. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports HD Fight Night Live. Proudly presents an evening of championship boxing. For this first contest, the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control, who stood in charge at ringside is Mr. Jeff Bolter. This is six three minute rounds of boxing in the super flyweight division. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the blue colored shorts trimmed with white. At the weight, he scaled eight stone, four pounds. From six contests, he has six wins. Presenting from Liverpool, Kevin Satchel. And opposing him, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing his familiar dark blue shorts trimmed with sky blue. At the weight, he also scaled eight stone, four pounds. From 28 contests, he has 22 wins. 10 of those wins coming by a way of knockout with only six defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the former bantamweight champion of Great Britain, presenting from St. Pancras, Martin Too Much Power. Timekeeper at the bell is Barry Pender from the Steel City of Sheffield. And the referee in charge of the action is Mr. Steve Gray from Fleetwood. Six three-minute rounds. Okay, boys, I'm a cold break. You've got to take a step back. Don't let any punches go around the back of the head. Touch gloves straight away, boys. Thank you. Go back, lads. Thanks. Well, this is one to look forward to, isn't it? Martin Power, who's been there and done it, as you heard in the introduction from our MC Michael Pass, against a young man who hasn't made any mistakes yet in his young career. Six fights, six wins for Kevin Satchel. The interesting thing is, though, that this match was only made a couple of days ago. They were both preparing for other opponents. So it'll be very interesting to see what develops here. Part Power has had a, a couple of changes of opponents from John Donnelly. Then it was uh, supposed to be Paul Edwards, the former British champion. Now he gets Kevin Satchel. And it's a chance for Satchel to really prove what he can do at a higher level because although he's had six fights and looked good so far he hasn't been in with anybody with the experience of Martin Power. You know, and Satchel's made some early mistakes already you know putting himself in a position where he's kind of hung out to dry a little bit there I would have thought maybe circling having a look at Power try some things out but he's uh, got close early and I don't know if that's a nice little uppercut there from Power. I don't know if that's a good idea for him. Well, it's interesting seeing Kevin Satchel at the way in yesterday, Jim. I mean, he was actually bristling with, with, with hostility. I mean, you know, the stare down that they always have to do for the, for the cameras, there's usually a bit of a laugh and a wink between the fellas. This fellow was doing it for real, and even when Power turned and walked away, Satchel continued the glare. Well, he is naturally confident, which is probably the reason they've taken this chance. I mean, not too long ago, you wouldn't have thought about putting a, a six-fight novice in with power. But uh, they, they have confidence to do that, and he, he's coping a little bit better now, getting some punches off a little bit earlier now. Well, power with an awful lot to lose. He still harbours dreams of getting that one more shot at the British Bantamweight title, which would give him a Lonsdale belt outright if he could win it. Still dreams about the big time, but really for the last three or four years, Whenever Power has stepped up in class, he's been found wanting. If he can't deal with the likes of Kevin Satchel, it's tough to see how he would ever get back to championship level. I think with Power, the reflexes are not what they were, so he's taking the, the full snap, the full power and punches. Yeah, I think there's just too much enthusiasm on the opening round, I think. They're just getting, both wanting to get down to work, but just a little bit over eager, just want to settle down a little bit. But uh, Satchel certainly landing the more punches now, the lovely right hand, he's picked some nice shots in the last half minute or so. Yeah, really landed a nice right cross there, Satchel, oh, took it well. Satchel does not have any stoppages to his name. Oh, tucking up well there, but he's got power on the back foot. Well, a lot of those punches were blocked. And a lot of effort was wasted. That was a bit too clever for him there, a bit rash. 
He's really open to the right hand power. I mean, there's no head movement, and uh, that, that is the problem, as I say, when the reflexes are not what they used to be. I mean, tremendous a couple of years ago, he was one fight away from winning the Lonsdale belt outright. I think everyone in the game wanted him to win it. He deserves that. I mean, what a servant he's been to the game. But uh, I'm sure he would accept his best days are behind. Good work here from Satchel. Well, he certainly will be behind, Jim, if he can't deal with the likes of Kevin Satchel. Busy opening round. Don't find the more about me, I just fucking stick it in me. Yeah, well, power started well in the opening minutes. Satchel making some mistakes, but he settled down nicely. He picked some lovely punches, accurate, moving in with the shot. Not a big puncher, as you've said, during the round. But some impressive work. And apologies if we picked up some language there. Round two of this scheduled six rounder. Kevin Satchel in the lighter blue up against the veteran. We have to call him that at 31, Martin Power. Satchel fighting to make a name for himself. Power really fighting for his future. Oh, oh terrific shot! And I'm not sure Power's going to recover from that. He's up at four, but very shaky. Six, seven, Just walked onto it. He looks like he's getting himself together. But Martin Power taking a heavy knockdown. At four, I thought he wasn't going to make it. Now, how much recovery has he got? And can Satchel finish him here? Well, we've seen Power coming back from big punches in the past, but can he do it at this stage in his career? I'm not so sure. Another right hand gets through, that's what did the damage. Oh, this is amazing. Kevin Satchel, who came into this fight without a stoppage to his name, has had power on the floor here in the second with a peach of a shot. This is what I was saying, when the reflexes are gone, you take the full force of the punch, and that's what happened there. No head movement whatsoever, he moved on to the shot, and it was a beauty. He's done well to come back from that. And a real heavy knockdown, and there's another one of those right hands, and Power has taken at least three of those since the knockdown. This goes back to what you were saying, Jim, the movement just not there. And Satchel nearly landed another one. Yep, that Satchel was a glancing blow. Yep, he's looking for a repeat. He knows he's found the tools to get this job finished early, and he's going for it here. Some decent jabs from Satchel, he's trying to set up power for the big right hand again. See, power really has to be coming forward to be effective, and I think the, wind, the wind's been taken right out of his sails there, he's backing off now. And really, at this stage in his career, you can't expect him to get a result on the back foot. And again, just ducking inside the right hand, but the threat is always there. Just can't miss with the right hand, it's, uh, it's worrying, it's alarming. And Steve Gray's just taking a look at this as he covers up and just tries to get through the round now, Martin Power. <laughs> Doesn't really look as though he's recovered from the big punches he's taken, no snap on his own punches. Well, he's been in survival mode the whole round and another one wobbles him down to his boots. And he needs to hear this bell. Somehow, Martin Power got through it. Goodness knows how. He was in terrible trouble at four, but got up, but he's in distress. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Get the job, and you step around the right, you've got to come back to the body in the right hand, yeah? There's a peach of a punch that caused the knockdown. See, Power's head straight onto the shot as he's been caught uh, without any head moves so often already tonight. But that one was right on the sweet spot. As soon as it landed, you knew the least you were going to get was a knockdown. Full credit to Power. 
for absorbing the plunge and coming back from it. But uh, we don't want to see him taking too many more of those. He was taking too many punches in that round. Big right hands from our liking. And that, without doubt, was the pick of the bunch. Round three of this six round up. Martin Power in the darker trunks. The former British bantamweight champion up against six fights, six wins. Kevin Satchel, he's looked so good so far, Satchel. But to get rid of Martin Power, especially with a stoppage, really would be making a statement for the local man. Well, Power got a couple of punches home there, but no effect. Uh, Satchel's come right through them, so that just adds to his problems, I think. Little inside left from Power with a six-rounder and a heavy knockdown thrown in the middle of it. It's very hard to see how Martin Power can think he's going to win this on points. He's got to go for broke, and he just took another right hand there. Landed a real low right hand of his own there, Powell. Blind side of Steve Gray, I think. Yeah, he got away with that one. It was really low. Well, Satchel does a few things wrong, but he still manages to get the punches on target. Maybe needs a little bit more control, but when you're getting a result like this, you don't want to fault it too much. Nosebleed to add to the problems for power. Another right hand getting through. Right hook upstairs. Powell's taking him all night. Steve Gray having a word as well. doing not an awful lot in this round other than fiddling and surviving on the right hand getting through big problem for him his punches have no effect on satchel he's he's up for this he's keen he sees this as a, a huge scalp on his belt and then nothing that power does can knock that enthusiasm out of him and doing a decent job defense defensively as well satchel i mean power's punches don't seem to have an awful lot of snap but what's coming satchel's catching a lot of them on the gloves as well Guard high and respectful. Tries to land the big right hand again there, but Powell saw that coming. And the right hand off the jab. Tried to repeat the trick. Not this time. The good stuff from, from Satchel, but I think at times he just has to tidy his boxing up a little bit. Dave. He's just a little bit here, there, and everywhere at times. Just a bit more structure, but he's getting the result. Winning another round, it looks. Still finding the target, which is the main thing. Well, Satchel was saying he's getting some decent sparring. He's been in with Paul Edwards and Kid Galahad in Sheffield. And uh, we're seeing the result of that sparring here. It's a very impressive, confident performance from a guy who probably came in as an underdog, given Martin Powell's terrific credentials. Looks anything but. He's making Powell look washed up here. Nice body shot too, landed there a few seconds ago, another good round. After months of negotiation, the Taliban gave us permission to film them inside Pakistan's Swap Valley. The entry was dangerous. Their foot soldiers had standing orders to kill all foreigners. But for two or three days, we broadcast live from inside the valley. It was unheard of, but it couldn't last. And when the Taliban stopped taking our calls, we knew that something had changed. It was time to leave, and fast. Impressive stuff from okay. Kevin Satchel. For a minute. He's busy for a minute. And the then Liverpool he's man. So we get low, start working the jab from down, start firing off the right hand and leave. He looks like the proven veteran in there right now. Yep. Getting the punch, he's finding the target, which is the main thing. I mean, he's a little bit all over the place, but getting the result so far. Round four. Power needs to turn this thing around if he can. Better defensively from Power, but again, it's Satchel taking the initiative. Good footwork. And again, throwing lots of punches as well. First one doesn't get through, the second or even the third is scoring. This is good, he's steadied himself up now. Satchel, this is good. Calming down a little bit, maybe. 
right hand working beautifully. Howard gritting his teeth, trying to make something happen. But he must know what's at stake for him here. Every contender in the division is going to be queuing up for Martin Power after this. Just can't seem to miss with that right hand lead. Power, no head movement, stumbling after that one. Yeah, he felt that right hand as well. You're absolutely right, Jim. Definite little shiver down the, the legs. Right from Satchel slowing just a little bit here in this fourth round. But I don't, I don't shots. mind that, yeah, I think there's a bit more structure now to what he's doing. I don't mind him settling down because the work rate is still good and the accuracy is even better. Yeah, he's thinking about what he's doing, he's really just... The shot selection is good there, not just throwing leather and hoping for the best, he really is picking his moments. Yeah, but I've been more impressed when he has settled down here. Yeah, this is good stuff knows what he's about, has a plan, just picking those punches nicely, accurate. You do get the sense that that knockdown took an awful lot out of Martin Power as well, he's not been anywhere near the same since. Very defensive, cagey on the back foot, not wanting to take risks, who can blame him? And Power has really had a tough career in his heyday, he was in hard fights. So sooner or later, I mean, oh, I see. the combination oh, again. Too cleanly again. Yeah, again, the first one didn't really get through cleanly, but he followed up with two more shots. It's a three-punch combination. It's real clever stuff. Authoritative work from Kevin Satchel. And on the right hand gets through. And again, you're just thinking power needs to hear that bell. But what on earth can they do in his corner to try and change things around? Still the big problem, his own punches have absolutely no effect, so you wonder how can he turn this round and get himself into it? Well, the stats tell their own story in this one. Martin Power doesn't need to see the numbers to know that he has been on the receiving end. Look at that, 91 shots to the body, to the head from Kevin Satchel, just seven to the body. Satchel knows exactly where the target area is. It goes to what you said right at the start of this fight, Jim, that the reflexes are just not what they were for Martin Power. No, nope, and that is the worrying thing for me because the punches are even harder to take when you're not maybe taking some of this thing out of them. Well, as anybody who knows anything about his career will tell you, Martin Power is a tough old warrior who's been there, been in with a lot, a lot of good opponents, had a lot of hard fights, and he's not going to take the easy way out of this one, no question. It's going to take an awful lot for Kevin Satchel to find something to finish this, as Power is not going to want to be counted out. Saw it coming, blocked it off. And Power kind of forcing his work to, nothing is flowing from him now. Everything he does, he has to force just to try to get himself into this. Well, just it is. unfortunately, just at the wrong end of his career, I'm afraid. It is survival mode, it really is. They always talk in this game about a boxer getting old overnight. I think we're seeing that with Martin Powell right here. But take nothing away from Kevin Satchel. He got this opportunity so late. He grabbed it as the opportunity to really make a name for himself. And assuming he manages to hold out here and doesn't do anything silly, he moves out of the, uh, the novice stakes right here. He goes into a higher level. Just the sheer toughness of Power maybe getting himself into things in the fifth round here, but uh, still there's a mountain to climb to turn this back in his favour, it won't happen. 
and, and, and there's no snap to the punches either, is there? You can't see how he's going to slow Satchel down unless he can uncork something out of somewhere. He looks weary, brave as ever. Don't ever question that. But there's no snap to those punches, no authority to his work whatsoever. No, and at no time has the power from power uh, troubled Satchel. He's walked through everything he's had to walk through. He's really been the boss all the way through this. There is a bit of blood has popped up on Satchel's face, but I think that's come from power. I don't think he's cut. There might be a little bit of damage around the nose. Whatever, it certainly won't be anything serious. And again, power bobbing and weaving, keeping the guard high, covering up, but still getting caught with right hands. That's been that's been the shot of the fight. But Kevin Satchel can barely miss with it. Yeah, well, in the past, Power would have been able to push people back, but he can't do that tonight. And it's a weary-looking former British champion that goes back to his stool, and it's a very fresh-looking 23-year-old from Liverpool in going into the other he's corner. Sure. Swallow this. No, no problems okay, in here at all. Okay, once you go, Kev, you worked hard for it, and we've got the fitness, you know what I mean? Now let's suck it up now, and let's go a little bit busy with the work. What we don't want, thanks, George, what we don't want is you're walking in, you see him standing there with the right hand, don't you? When you see that, little thing, so just go, go for a walk again and come back to it, all right? Give you a jab working the way it is working. That's right, Kevin. All right? And look for snap rather than, rather than the big bombs, okay? Don't worry about getting them out of there, just look for snap, you know. You look at shit on him, you hear me? You can fuck all the losers, go on, mate. You're fucking boxing brilliant. That's stupid. Well, fucking again, rock. apologies for the language, but I think James Paisley knows that the stakes here are so high for Martin Power. And it's been a disastrous night, unless he can turn something around here. The former champion looking at old 31, the fresh faced Kevin Satchel. It's looking like he's got a future, a real future. That's super flyweight. And you heard him saying in Satchel's corner, no need to go for the big win. Just carry on doing what you're doing. And you'll win this fight, you'll get this decision. Good right hand here, I think, at Trouble Power. There was a little reaction in the legs, it caught him above uh, the left eye. Just seemed to, to stun him. Yep, his movements are even slower now. Tell you something, Jim. I think a few of us were surprised to see Martin Power in a six rounder, but uh, I think a lot of us are quite glad it's a six rounder now. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just a pity. I mean, a lot of people love this business and uh, they're addicted to it uh, when maybe things that aren't going to anything like they, they should be, they still want to do it. And I think Martin's one of these guys, he loves this business. Good uppercut from Power. Might just have shaken Satchel a little bit. He's certainly gone defensive, but then lands a shot of his own. No, he's OK. But it was a decent punch landed by Power. And how depressing is it for him? The first decent shot he lands, and Satchel just absorbs it and says, come on, give me some more. And Powell's yeah, and doing everything he can, but just can't find a clean shot now. Yeah, and it's showing that he can deal with a little bit of a crisis. He has a nosebleed there, or a good right hand from him. He's responding well now. Yeah, because the openings are there for him, with power taking a few risks, as he has to. James Paisley, you heard him say it. Got to go out there and go for broke here. So he's going to leave himself open, and he's looking tired again. And Satchel can sense it, ups his own work rate. And as much as we've sort of almost had the last rights on Martin Power's career here, Jim, and I'm sure he'll have other ideas when this one's finished as he assesses himself, we've got to look at James Satchel and the statement he's made tonight. Very, yeah. very impressive, Kevin Satchel, excuse me. Yeah, but I think he's been terrific tonight, Satchel. I mean, an opportunity that's come up at the last minute, so he hasn't had too much time to be nervous about it. Just grabbed it with both hands and, and made full, full advantage of it. This has been a terrific performance all the way through, winning every round, dominating at the moment. And if it was an eight-rounder, you'd fancy a stoppage. 
because power doesn't have a lot left in his tank. He's just backing up, looking to hear that final bell. He gave it a bit of a go, it wasn't going to work. And he just wants to try and get through this. And even now, Kevin Satchel is pouring it on. And a right hand wobbles power again. And he hears the bell. And Kevin Satchel has just had the win of his career. In only his seventh fight, he's taken a former British champion to the cleaners.